Hello to everyone on the match point another exciting episode and we are again with a new superstar of cricket the West Indies and you are watching the Avas Global T20 Canada is in the progress and we are heading towards the grand finale and as we are approaching nearby we are also approaching the champions the champions of the champions are all around with us one of the new champion along with me he is from Kingston Jamaica not a unknown name for the cricketers a very known place for the cricketers first class debut he has done for the Jamaica 2016 17 regional four day competition he has done 25th of November 2016 he started out he plays for Jamaica Talawas Jamaica under 19 St St Kitts and Nevis Patriots West Indies B and of course West Indies under 19 his best bowling is 4 for 47 and prior to his first class debut, he was the part of the West Indies squad for the 2014 Under-19 Cricket World Cup. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to one of the uh, legends of the game in this cricket, the West Indies, Fabius Allen, the game changer. Hello, Fabius. Hello, Fabius, first of all, congratulations on what a wonderful performance. And I thank you so much that you came to my show, Match Point. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, Fabius, tell us about your vision of the Global T20. How you feel when you reached Canada? Uh, because as a West Indian, cricket is not a new thing for you. Uh, you have played on the plenty of grounds, and here only one ground, and the new league, lot of teething issues. Uh, so, where you are seeing this league, and uh, how uh, how you observe this league when you reached over here in Africa? Um, it's the first time being in Canada. Um, it's a pretty well decent atmosphere um, to say um, the global T20 is very special for Canada um, for the youngsters who come in, upcoming youngsters can uh, come and experience it um, playing against the best um, in the world so it's a very good um, competition um, going on so I'm really pleased and happy about it so still in the North America, this part is still in the North America. So how do you compare it from the back home, West Indies, lot of grounds, spectating atmosphere and here the grounds are not that much full and only one pitch, variant pitch, lot of dust is there and there lot of uh, pitches and the uh, wonderful pitches over the years, 100 years. So how you uh, compare the cricket on both sides, the same globe? Well, cricket play and pitch, so you're not going to um, have excuse about that. So you don't, you don't um, just go anywhere play cricket, you know, you're not going to have um, excuse because cricket play everywhere. So you know, you're going to go to different areas and play cricket. So you just have to accept it and just go there and play cricket. In the last uh, few games of the 2016-17, the regional four-day competition, he made 50s in the three consecutive games. He was picked up in the 13th round in the 2017 CPL drafting for St. Kitts and Nevis uh, Patriots. He was the T20 debut, uh, debutant for the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots in the CPL on 19th of August 2017. Uh, so Fabius, uh, CPL a big stage for the Caribbean cricket and the big stage for the international players. How was the feeling when you were picked up in the drafting? It's a pretty well great feeling, so um, I'm pretty young, so you know, it's going to be an excitement uh, feeling. So I'm um, playing against, as I said, playing against the best. So you know, I always want to um, up here playing against the best. So you know, it's a pretty good And how feeling. was the experience? Who was the toughest you felt in that league, in the bowling sides? <laughs> 
I don't, I don't really get much experience of batting, but um, being around the guys, you know, you're gonna get a great feeling. Um, being around um, Chris Gale, Andre Russell, those kind of players, you know, they're master T20, so you know, you have to feel great about them. Fabius, is it right? I have heard from Virat Kohli when Chris is on fire, when he is playing uh, for the IPL, some of the other matches, the batsman who is at the non-striking end, he is in the state of fear what Chris Gale is going to do. <laughs> and I have heard that uh, Virat was telling once and that when Chris was hitting straight, he was hitting, Virat was doing like this and then umpire came to him and strictly told him, don't do this again. He said, why? I am saying, he said, do like this. If you will do like this, it will come to me, it will deflect. Yeah. So, how dangerous it is to play against Chris? Yeah, he's a very um, powerful guy, you know, he hit a, everyone knows he hit the ball hard. So, you know, you have to just stay on your base and just watch watch, watch closely what he's doing. So, you know, um, pay, pay attention on, on him. So, um, when he's on track, you know, he's very dangerous. But Fabius, we have seen all the big guys, Steve Smith I have seen, uh, Chris I have seen, lot of other guys. But your team, the phenomenal hitting. I am not saying this, that you are in front of me. But Chris Gale, Stephen Smith, all the players, are, the time the time has come for them that they are wearing out. They were not that much prominent on this ground. The ground was as new for them as it is for you guys. But you guys, you, Justin Greaves, Rutherford, you guys have demolished every ball in attack. I don't believe that at the moment Chris is uh, hitting more better than the Fabius Allen. What about you? You guys were on the killer instinct. Right in front of the media house, the sixes were coming to us. <laughs> and still, we were trying to catch us. Um, you know, it was, um, my, my, my inspiration is just go there and just about myself. Um, they will see me um, be Fabian Allen because, uh, you know, you're going to play against um, all of the, those guys like Chris Taylor and Joseph. Uh, you, know, you just want to impress them, you just want to show them. So I just go out the areas by myself and just execute my plans. Wow. Uh, so we will play a straight drive with Fabius Allen and we will see what is his say about this favorite singer. Um, he's a Jamaican. I would say um, Mover. Favorite movie? Um, Backup Boys. Favorite spot in America and Canada? Uh, I have no idea. No idea. <laughs> Favorite ground in the cricket? Um, I would say Kansas and over. Your favorite NBA team? Uh, LA. Lakers. Yeah. Best and favorite moment in your career? Taking catch a seat there. Favorite food? Apple. Favorite sp spicy food? Pakistani and Indian food? <laughs> I have no idea. No idea. <laughs> you have never taken? You have never tried? No, I haven't tried. Favorite destination as a holiday going with a family and with a friends? Um, say Bahamas. Bahamas. You have ever been deceived twice from the one place? No. The most annoying thing? Not playing cricket. Your best habit? Um, hanging out with friends. Your worst habit? Nice. Sitting alone. When you feel complete, who is bowling from the other end? You feel you are complete. Repeat? I mean, you are complete now. You can destroy any batting lineup. Who is bowling at the other end that you feel that he should be your partner at the place? Who is batting at the other end when you feel complete? Nicholas Poor. Nicholas Poor. 450s, 200s, and highest of 169 not out, would you believe? On November 2017, made in 100 in the first class cricket, 169. Not out for Jamaica versus Trinidad and Tobago in the regional four day competition. Uh, Fabius, tell us about the memories of that 169 not out. Do you remember that match? Yeah, I remember um, playing in Trinidad, you know, that um, um, Jamaica um, four day team. So 
obviously I just vote him and as I said I just be myself um I just face as much ball I can do I can face um I just play, play each ball and merit um rotate the strike um get away the bad balls and I just and every day I come out um not out on the 169 not out so this was a good pretty good um, feelings made it um made my first hundred against him so I was gonna be uh and at the end, before leaving him, we won't let him go without the rapid fire and we will try to clean ball him, which none of the teams had tried. Best batsman you have ever bowled. Best bowler you have ever faced. Tim so the worst batsman you have ever faced. The worst batsman. Who's the number 11? In, in days of my days when I was following cricket, in those days when I was going to the cricketers, they were staying Colty Walsh. <laughs> in those days when I was covering cricket in the 90s, they were saying about him. And some, some were saying about the Murli also. Murli Dharan. So no one coming to your name? Uh, so, no one. Worst batsman you have ever bowled? Um, you see, I have clean bowled him. Worst bowler you have ever faced? Imran Khan, Kapil Dev, Ian Botham, Sir Richard Headley. Your pick. If you have to face Michael Holding, Andy Roberts, Jewel Garner, Malcolm Marshall, Sylvester Clark, whom you will avoid? Michael Holden. If you would not have been a cricketer, you would have been a? A runner. Your best roommate? Uh, your worst roommate? <laughs> your favorite captain? Your favorite Pakistani skipper? Misbah, your favorite uh, West Indies captain all times, Clyde Lloyd or Viv Richards? Viv Richards. Shwe Bakhtar or Brett Lee? Brett If you need to avoid one, you will avoid Shwe Bakhtar or you will avoid Brett Lee? <laughs> Brian Lara or Sachin Tendulkar? Uh, 400 not out. David Gover, Javed Niyadat, Sunil Gowaskar, Viv Richards, your pick for the test team. A.B. De Villiers, Corey Anderson and Shahid Khan Afridi, your pick. Cole. Hmm? Bad Cole. Uh, Virat Kohli. But I have not given you the option of Virat Kohli. A.B. De Villiers, Corey Anderson and Shahid Khan Afridi. A.B. De Villiers. A.B. A.B. is the man. A.B. is the man. Thank you so much, Fabius. And we wish you good luck to lift up the cup. Anyhow, I have lifted the cup before. One day we had a game and I touched the cup and I lifted the cup and I hope you lift the cup again now. Which cup we have lift. And we wish you good luck and I hope to see you back in the Pakistan Super League also. Wish you meet there in the Dubai. And also, I wish you good luck to join the West Indian team. I need to see you in all the formats. You are a terrific player. Thank you so much. So this was it, Fabius Allen, superstar with us and you are watching Match Point by Dr. Adnan. Next time when I will come, I will come with a brand new hero and a brand new savior. Till then, take care and bye-bye. Responsible for a